Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and I'm Orthodox Jew and I saw Void on YouTube. Basically, I didn't see myself represented on YouTube so I decided to fix that and I made a YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to talk about my process of how I decided to go to seminary and which seminary I went to. So let's get started. So I guess before I even considered seminary for myself, I'll talk about what I thought it was. I knew of seminary just in the Chabad context because my shul always got two post-seminary post girls to work for them. So I remember them telling me about seminary. Um, so I really only thought seminary was like an option if you were Chabad or like of that religious level, if that makes sense. And again, I wasn't religious at all. So I didn't even know like the broader spectrum of religious Judaism. Um, so that was my background with seminary. So my junior year of high school, my friend who is a year older than me, texted in a group chat that we were in, that I, my friend was 18, that she had just applied to a seminary in, in Israel. And I remember thinking to myself, I was like, wow, that's a waste of time. Like she's not going straight to college. Like that's a waste of her time because that's kind of how I was brought up. It's like college, 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 college. So then I actually got to see her at the Indian International Shabbaton my junior year. And I kind of talked to her about it. And I was like, you went to public school. How are you going to seminary? I didn't even know where she was holding religiously yet. We kind of talked about it and she's like, yeah, there's this program called My Note. It's in Jerusalem. Um, it's for girls with my background. And I think, you know, I'm really, really excited to go and learn and be in Israel. And she was just saying that like, she just wasn't ready to go to college yet. That was just so not my world. Like again, I was raised like, you do well in school, so you get into a good college. And that's just like, she was just kind of challenging that belief. And I was like, wait, maybe there might be more. And then fast forward to June of 2017, I went on the C Team Leadership Retreat. It's basically a shop tone for leaders. And two of my friends from C Team who are also a year older than me um, were like the senior advisor. And they had just graduated high school. So C Team wanted an alumni to come back and help run the shop tone, facilitate things, kind of have a peer to talk to. So one of the senior advisors, Rachel, was going to a modern Orthodox seminary and we're very close still. Um, so talking about it today and she also didn't grow up religious. Um, she went to a pluralistic high school and then kind of through CT and took on more. So she was already religious at that point when she decided to go to seminary and um, when she went. And I remember talking to her, I actually think the summer before, or maybe, I don't know, before this child tone. And she was saying that she didn't want to go to a Chabad seminary. I didn't even know that existed. And the guy that went, he was going to My Note, which is the program that Sydney was doing. Um, but they, it's just the boys program. They have a, a seminary and a yeshiva. So they were going and I was just like, okay, interesting. And I remember talking to a lot of people on the Shalbaton about seminary. And the thing with my note is that they have a boys post high school program, but they do not have a girls one. I think they were supposed to open a girls one, but then COVID, it just, it didn't happen. Hopefully one day, because there's definitely a need. So Sydney was going, she was just gonna be the youngest. They, also, I don't know if I mentioned, but my note is Chabad, that's important. So that's just what Sydney wanted and she went and she ended up loving it. But I remember thinking even at that Shabbaton that I didn't want to be the youngest. I really, really wanted to be with people my own age. So I remember talking to people like C teen staff at the Shabbaton of like, oh, well maybe I'll go to Maya Note after college. I just, I, I was really dead set on go to Maya Note because I just like, I had looked into the program a little bit when I found out Sydney was going, there's like a Baal Shuba seminary and Chabad and that's all I had been exposed to. So I just thought that was really important. But then I remember talking to people like, like college is so far away. Like at that point I was supposed to graduate college in 2022. Okay, I would have been 21. I was 16 on the Shabbaton, five years. That's like a lot of time. There's a lot you can't control. What if, you know, right after undergrad, it would make sense for me to go to grad school. What if I got this awesome job? What if there were so many what ifs and so many things that can happen in life. So I was like, okay, maybe my note, going to my note afterwards isn't the best idea. But at the same time, I was still thinking, you know, I can't do a gap year. Like no chance my mom would let me. And also like at that point in my life, I didn't want to delay college because it's just not what was done in my family. Also like in my school, like college was very competitive and there was no, I didn't know anyone in my from my town that did a gap year. So it just not even a thing I thought of is for me, seminary was like, oh, maybe I'll do like a winter program in college or like after college, I'll do something. Then I kept the whole weekend, I was just agonizing over this. Cause this was the summer right before my senior year. So I kept agonizing about 
when should I go? Where should I? Just, just like so many unknowns. And also, like at that point, I had zero resources. Like I literally just knew my note, and I knew that in theory I would want to go there, but I didn't want to be the youngest. So the day after that Shabbaton, I went to camp. Not Jewish camp, loved it. But I'm like, how just about the camp? I am who I am because of camp. But I kind of forgot about it. It was just, you know, I was at camp for seven weeks. I just like didn't really think about it. Again, not a Jewish camp, so I really wasn't thinking about Judaism. And I just sort of forgot about it. And then my birthday is usually around Labor Day, and we hadn't started school yet. So my mom, my sister, and I went down the shore for Labor Day weekend for a long weekend. And that is when Sydney, the girl who went to my note, Rachel, and two guys that I knew from C Team, they were all going to Israel. Three of them were at my note, just two at the yeshiva. Sydney was at the seminary, and then Rachel went to Mount Orthodox Seminary. And they had all gone to Israel, and they were all hanging out together one night. And I just remember them sending like pictures in group chats, or sending like a Snapchat and sending me pictures, and it was just like looked so fun. I was like, oh my gosh, like you literally just like get to like have fun for a year. I don't talk about drinking, like that's not what they did and that's not what I did in seminary. It was just like, you didn't have to worry about anything. You didn't have to do schoolwork. Like, you could literally just like explore and have fun. And that was just so appealing to me. So one of the nights that I was down the shore, I remember Googling Balteshuva seminaries in Israel. Um, because again, my new, I just really didn't want to be the youngest. I didn't have any resources. Like I really didn't know any other forms of religious Judaism besides Chabad. So I, I looked up Baal Shuba seminaries in Israel and I stumbled upon some forum. I don't even know if I could find it again. And someone said, Mohamayam, there's girls of all different backgrounds. I was like, okay, I'll look into it. So I went on their website. I was like, wait, this is cool, like interesting. Um, and then I watched their video and I fell in love with it. I was just like, wow, like this is amazing. Like I want to go here. Then I was like, hey, no, it's not going to happen. Like forget about it. Whatever, forgot about it. Then the school year goes on, I'm talking to Rachel, I'm talking to Sydney, they love it, I'm agonizing. Do I go before, do I even go to seminary at all? Do I even wanna be religious? I didn't even know at that point. Do I go before college? Do I go after college? Do I go in college? Also, like no one in my family knew at this point that I was thinking about this. Kept thinking, and then, but someone that I met through CT, her name is Claire. She's been featured on this channel, I think once. And we were kind of talking about it together, potentially, maybe, possibly wanting to go to Israel. Um, but like, not really. I was talking to my friends that were in Israel, but like, it was always like a, mm, probably not, it's not gonna happen. Like I wanted to, but probably something that wouldn't ever actually happen. And then also senior year is busy, like college applications, studying for the ACT. I had a lot of things happening. So like, I thought about it, but like, not really, but like also a little, but also not really, because I didn't think it would actually happen. C team usually does a Shabbaton, they call it TGIS, thank God a Shabbos. And different regions or different chapters around the world do either a Friday night dinner or a Shabbaton. So my chapter, along with a few other chapters, did a Shabbaton in Atlantic City. And they got a Chabad couple, Shulchim, who are Shulchim in Florida, to come and speak. And they were actually at the retreat that was a few months prior, and the rabbi spoke. But at this Shabbaton, him and his wife spoke. So Friday night during the meal, they shared their story together. And basically he didn't grow up religious and he became religious and his wife converted. And she's amazing, she's so inspiring. And I just remember like all Shaw was talking to her and all Shaw was wanting to pick her braid and kind of find out why she converted and like her process and like, I just want to know everything. And I remember at the end of the Shaw tone thinking like, wow, she gave up so much to be Jewish. Like I'm already Jewish. Like I don't have to like, Yes, it becoming religious is a big change, but for her, it was so much more of a change. Like she gave everything to be Jewish and I'm already Jewish. So like, why don't I just like take the leap of faith? Why don't I even just like look into it? It's not a lot of commitment. Why don't I just look into it? And that is when I started talking to my friend, Claire. Um, so that Shabbat home, we ended up talking about seminary and she already knew she was going. Like she didn't know where, but she knew she wanted to go. Her parents were on board. During the Shabbat home, we were talking. And then after the Shabbat home, Claire and I were talking a lot and I was thinking, okay, where should I go? All these things, but I hadn't even spoken to my mom yet. And that was gonna be the really big hurdle. I was really, really nervous to talk to her because again, this is like out of the norm and I college is really important. It's been stressed my whole life. So I didn't know if she would be, she would say yes. And I was nervous even to ask. I think the Shabbat after the CT and Shabbat tone, I was in Shul and I was telling my Rebbitzin and my mom's best friend that I was really considering seminary, but I didn't know. And I had looked into the application process 
because okay back Claire's cousin went to Mahomayan four or five years prior so when Claire said oh my cousin went to Mahomayan I had remembered looking at Mahomayan that Labor Day weekend so I looked into the application and the application was a hundred dollars I was like okay I'm 17 like I don't have just like a hundred dollars to like spend on this application so I remember telling my rabbits and my mom's best friend this well they're like first you have to tell her because if you don't even apply you're not even giving yourself the option to even go at all and they said if your mom doesn't want to cover the application fee we'll cover it we'll figure it out for two weeks claire's like hannah you need to ask your mom like let's go like applications are too soon like crunch time like applications were doing like a week and a half or two weeks that monday my mom went on a business trip so i didn't know when to call her i don't know when she was in a meeting or like out to dinner with her colleagues or whatever and also i was like oh when so i texted her and i was like hey what do you think about a gap year and she's like after college I was like, well, then that's not a gap year. She's like, yeah, exactly. I was like, uh... And my mom came home Thursday morning. And that Thursday night, my show was doing a mega challah bake. And on the way home, I was telling her how one of my friends that I met through CT that like is in my chapter, Maddie, that she wanted to do a gap year, but she didn't want to do a religious program. She wanted to do like a more volunteering based type thing, like Young Judea, if anyone's ever heard of it. I was like, you know, Maddie is thinking of doing gap year in Israel. And my mom's like, oh, interesting. like. What would Maddie do on said gap year? And I was like, oh, she wants to like explore Israel and like hike and volunteer and stuff like that. And my mom's like, okay, well, like, what would you want to do in Israel? What would you want to do on your theoretical gap year? I was like, I, I want to go to Israel. I want to go to seminary. At that point, I like had not shared with anyone in my family that I wanted to be religious. That I was like doing small things to start keeping Shabbat and other things. I was not communicative at all. So we got home and talked about it more. And I showed her the Mahomayan video. She's like, Okay, interesting, but like, I'm just nervous that this is the place that you're gonna, you know, sit and like everyone's just gonna be like sitting there until they get married. I was like, no, like they have a whole thing about how they encourage college and like everyone goes to college, like it's not a thing. And also my mom said, I'm worried you're not gonna go to college. I was like, mom, I took the ACT four times. The fourth time was for her. I go to college. I sleep away at my essay. I work my butt off in high school. I'm going to college. She's like, okay, how much does it cost? I was like, honestly, I don't really know. So we looked into it and she's like, okay that's a lot uh, i was like yeah she's like listen you can apply but i'm not saying that you can go you can just apply that was like a big win i decided to split the my seminary story into two videos this one being kind of how i decided to go and how i convinced my mom and the next one being how i decided where to go um, and the application process because i just felt that the videos were getting too long and i didn't really want that so stay tuned for my next video of how I chose where to go.